So are your emails landing in the spam box? Are your open rates dropping? In today's video, I'll share with you exactly how to improve your email deliverability and how to get out of the spam box. So why is it important to improve your email deliverability? Well, that's simple. By improving your email deliverability, you will increase your open rate. More people will open your emails. More people will click in your emails. More people will visit your store. More people will buy from you and you will earn more money. So it's essential to improve your email deliverability and get out of the spam box. In today's video, I will share with you five ways to improve your email deliverability so you can get much higher open rates for your e-commerce brand. So how do you know your email deliverability is dropping? You can simply see this in your Klaviyo account by going to your dashboard. Then you can add a card which is called email deliverability by email domain. And you can now see the open rates divided by domain. So if you see certain domains with an open rate of 25% or lower, see if you can optimize these domains. If you have like open rates of 50% or lower, then there's really big work ahead. And probably a lot of your emails are landing in spam box for these domains. So the way you can do this is that you go to your Klaviyo account and you can add a card in your dashboard. And then there is a card which is called email deliverability by email domain. And you can add the data view. Once it's loaded, you can find it in your dashboard. And then you can see here and here the email deliverability by email domain. Um, as you can see, you can see here all the domains like Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, iCloud. And then you can see the open rate for a specific period time frame. So for example, Gmail, this account has 48% open rate, Yahoo 71, Hotmail 42, iCloud 33. So these open rates actually are already good. This is one of our clients. So yeah, we've already improved the email deliverability, of course. So, um, but it could be that you see that Hotmail, for example, has a 20% open rate and then you know, okay, this is the domain that I have to work on, uh, which I will talk about in a minute. Or you can see like Gmail, uh, which had like big issues last year, 2022. Uh, you can see that the operate that is like 15%. They know oh, there's big work ahead for Gmail and uh, you should definitely work on that. So um, this is how you can see the email deliverability by email domain in your Klaviyo account. So now you know which email domains are the problem for your account. And now you can start uh, building and improving your email deliverability. So how are we going to improve your email deliverability? We have five ways that we're going to show you in this video. So the first solution is that we want to send to smaller segments. So uh, in this case, there are two different scenarios. The first scenario is that you have like one, two or three domains that have like a 25% or lower open rate. Second scenario is that all of your domains have like a 25% or lower open rate. Let's first discuss the first uh, scenario where one, two or three domains are having a low open rate. In this case, we want to make segments in your Klaviyo account for these, uh, for these domains only based on engaged in the last 15, 30, 45, 60 and 90 days. And we want to start excluding these domains from your regular segments. And we want to send to these specific domains only based on the engaged last 15 days for two weeks only, or for let's say four or five weeks. So for two weeks only, we're gonna send to these problematic domains to an engaged segment of the last 15 days and exclude them from your regular segment that you're also sending campaigns to, of course. So we wanna do this for two weeks or for around four to five campaigns. And um, then after that, we want to check your email deliverability per com campaign again and see if the open rates for these problematic domains are improving. If yes, then after two weeks, we can start setting to the last 30 days. So we're now going from 15 days to 30 days. And we basically want to repeat this process until you're at the engaged last 90 days level and your open rates are like 30% plus. And uh, this will take a few weeks, but after that, you probably have fixed your email deliverability for these specific domains. Then the second scenario, so all of your domains are having a 25% or lower open rate. In this case, uh, we don't have to segment based on specific domains because all your domains are, are having problems in terms of deliverability. So we just want to send campaigns to your engaged last 15 days only for two weeks or four or five campaigns again. Uh, but now for your complete uh, email list, so for all of your domains, so, uh, and then the process is basically the same. So is your operate improving? If yes, then you can go from 15 days to 30 days, from 30 days to 45, to 60, to 90. And you can repeat this process until the last 120 days in this case. And if not, then we have four other ways to improve your email deliverability. But this solution only will probably already improve your email deliverability massively. Very quick. So if you're an e-commerce brand owner and you're doing over 25K a month of revenue, 
and you need some help with your email marketing or other areas of your rotation marketing, go to the description down below, click on the link and book a call with me to discuss if we can help you generate a lot more revenue out of your retention marketing. So again, go to the link in the description and book a call now. Then solution two, we want to clean your email list. So um, one thing that's really important to understand that it's not about the quantity of your email list, but it's about the quality of your email list. So you need to get rid of unengaged people so your emails are not landing in the spam box. Because yeah, you can imagine that if you're sending emails to people uh, and these emails are landing in the spam box that email providers like Gmail, Outlook, etc., are thinking, hey, these emails are landing in the spam box uh, for this person. So we might have to send this email to the spam box to other people as well. So by getting rid of those people, uh, yeah, your emails are a lot less likely to land in the actual spam box. So um, there are three steps to clean your email list that I would advise you. Step one is to get rid of the unengaged people of the last 180 days. So uh, the way you do it is that you make a segment in your Klaviyo account. Uh, what you say is that uh, this person has opened email zero times in the last 180 days and has clicked the email zero times in the last 180 days. And um, this person has received an email from you uh, at least 10 times in the last 180 days. Because honestly, um, yeah, if someone hasn't received an email from you, they can't open it, they can't click it. So uh, you want to make sure that they have receive sufficient emails to see if they have the possibility to actually open your emails. And you want to make sure this person is not suppressed because yeah, we don't have to suppress people who are already suppressed. So you now have a segment of people who haven't engaged with your rent in the last 100, 180 days. So what you can do, you go to your segment, you click on manage segment and you click on export segment to CSV. You will now download a CSV file. You go to your profiles uh, in the menu you click on view suppressed profiles and you can import the CSV that you've just downloaded. So now all of the people who have engaged with your brand in the last 180 days are suppressed from your email list. Step two in this process, we now want to get rid of the people who have marked your emails as spam. So the way we do it, again, we start making a new segment and the segment is saying has marked as spam at least once over all time and this person is not suppressed. So uh, once people receive an email from you, they can mark your email as spam. And we just basically want to get rid of these people who have marked an email from you as spam because it's more likely that um, those emails are being marked as spam more often and that those emails are landing in their spam box, which will hurt your email deliverability. So I want to make this segment again the same process go to your segment, manage the segment, export the CSV, and import the CSV file. Uh, for your suppressed profiles. Now you are getting rid of all people who've marked your emails as spam in the past. And the last step of this process, step three, is that, that you want to get rid of the emails that have bounced in the past. So again, we want to make a new segment in your Klaviyo account where we're saying has bounced email at least four times over all time where bounce type equals soft or has bounced email at least once over all time where bounce type equals hard. And this person again should not be suppressed. So um, with this way we're making a segment of all people who have an email address that has bounced over all the time. Uh, there's a difference between soft and hard bounces. Um, yeah, for the purpose of this video, I won't go into that more in depth. Uh, but you want to make sure that for hard bounces, you want to get rid of those people immediately. Soft bounces, you can have it like four times or maybe three or five times. Um, so um, yeah, then you're making the segment and then you're repeating the process. So you're exporting this as a CSV file and importing this uh, to suppress the profiles. And now um, yeah, you're getting rid of all the people who have an email address that have bounced in the past uh, for your Klaviyo account. So now you simply got rid of all the fluff. You only have somewhat engaged people on your list. So you're not emailing your campaigns to people who have marked emails as spam or to emails that have bounced. And this will send a much better signal to email providers like Gmail and Outlook. So the third solution is to improve your email design. So a lot of brands are sending emails that are completely designed and only consist of images. So this can go well for certain brands, but if you're having issues with your email deliverability, it's important to improve your email design. So first of all, don't send emails that only have image slices. We see that quite often. Again, it can go well, but I always advise to include real text as well. So you have a better image to text balance and that just makes you look less spammy. Second of all, make sure to compress your images with websites like tinypng.com or squoosh.app. 
And so uh, your basic compression images, uh, this will make sure that you have less load time of your emails and with this will just improve your email deliverability in general and also will just provide your, your subscribers with a better uh, yeah, experience because yeah, your emails are loading much faster. Your emails are not clipping as we call it. First thing that I always advise is to send more plain text emails. So not only from a deliverability standpoint because these emails only consist of text. So again, that balance between image text is, is a lot better of course because there are no images. And, um, but also from a conversion standpoint, it's good to, to sometimes have some plain text emails because a lot of people nowadays, especially from, from e-commerce brands, they're used to fully designed emails. And by switching it up with like a plain text email from the founder, um, they're kind of surprised that we've noticed massive conversion improvements by implementing this strategy. So the fourth way to improve your email deliverability is by setting up a dedicated sending domain in your Klaviyo account. So, a dedicated sending domain allows you to send emails that appear to be coming from your brand and allows you to have a better overall control of your sending uh, sender reputation. So this is more of a technical process where you'll have to generate DNS records and apply them to your domain. So definitely check Clavio's guide for this where they help you step by step through this process by setting up a dedicated sending domain. Um, so I won't go in that further for this video, but it can definitely help you improve your email deliverability if you're having massive problems i wouldn't advise this immediately if you have like a specific problem with one specific domain but if your overall open rate is just really low that you have uh, tried all the other ways to improve your email deliverability that this can definitely help you out uh, improving your open rates and improve your email deliverability so the last way to improve your email deliverability is by simply providing value to your subscribers so uh, yeah, this is just a fundamental thing of email marketing, provide value. So unfortunately, a lot of brands are just using email marketing to spend the subscribers with promotions, sales, and this and that. Uh, yeah, people just don't like to receive these kinds of campaigns all the time. So they will mark you as spam, which will hurt your email deliverability. So the solution is quite simple. Provide your subscribers with valuable content that they enjoy. So they're less likely to mark your emails as spam. They're more likely to open your emails and all of all, this will help improve your email deliverability natural. So uh, this is basically the first thing that you should keep in mind if you want to improve your email deliverability. Are you providing value? Are you just sending promotions? Or have you, are you having a good mix between valuable content and promotions? And um, yeah, this will definitely improve your email deliverability. And that's it. These are five ways to improve your email deliverability and to get out of the spam box with your email. So if you like this video, if this was useful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on email marketing and increasing your revenue for your e-commerce brand. See you in the next video.